This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is my Honda. I kind of like that sign. Looks pretty decent. I've been out already this morning. It's getting really hot here. And I've been doing a lot of work on it. Uh, this is the switch that turns the system completely on. This lights up the panels. This light here, which you all, doesn't seem like I can ever get it when you can see it, but anyway, it's always on, which tells me when there's water in the hydrogen tank or not. You've got your voltage. That's always on. You can see that's at 12, a little over 12. You've got your amp meter, and then I have a meter over here that tells me how long the system is on continuously. This is the new switch I just got through installing. In just a second, I'm going to show you what it looks like underneath it. That's the switch that turns on the twin. This is a twin cell. This is the Aaron cell 8 twin. It's working really well. And when you push this down, it turns the twin section off. Since I haven't got to it yet, I disconnected the wire that I had paid to have put in. That t this turns off the fuel pump. I will be using it. It's been worth every penny I paid for it, but right now it's off. Or on, actually. So I've got the two wires together, as you can see. What I'm going to do is show you basically what happens. Just a moment here. It's really hot here. I'm going to turn over the engine and see if I can get a good shot of it here. Let's move, move the car. And uh, I'm going to show you what happens when we turn over the engine here. Right now the system is off, the hydrogen cell is off. I'm going to push this and turn the cell on. And you can see the meter on the right. That's the amper amps meter. You can see we're still we're charging at that's the alternator is charging at around 14 volts. The amp meter is showing about 15 amps. And what I'm going to do, this is the secondary part of the twin. I'm going to throw that up or on. And you can watch and see what happens here. We're still running at 12 volts. This 12 volts is across the cell. I'm sorry, 12 volts is across the battery in the car. There's only one battery. And there's my amps. If I turn the secondary cell off, you can see what happens. So I keep this cell on until it reaches 30, then I turn it off at 30, turn the twin off at 30, and we bring it down to 15. So far that has really been working well.
As a matter of fact, today I ran this Honda and it's really running smooth right now. What I'm going to do is remove this console that's got the switch for the twin cell. Okay, you can see the bottom. This is where I've got it connected. There's your switch. You can see how that turns it off. You can wire these switches so normally open or normally closed. There's my cover wire. I found out covering all this wire is really the best way to do it. Keeps the wire from getting pinched and it works great. You can see here is where the gas station guy wired the switch for the fuel pump. It goes all the way down to the back seat. Okay. There's the engine compartment. And I'm still not completely finished. But you can see where all my wire leads are going in. This is the newest one. It goes to that twin switch. It turns off the twin switch. Follow that around. And that's going to be covered with another color wire. Another color case. This is the blue one that's going to the first relay. And this is the new one. They're all going to these fuses. So both twins go to a fuse. So any one of these can blow. These are the quirks I have in here for back flash. And also this one is my... That was good. That one is my pour cork. Which allows me to pour the water directly into it. Let's see if I can show you what this really looks like under here. There, this is the new relay I just put in that controls the second twin. And I don't know, it's pretty hard to find it, but believe me, there's two other relays in there just like this one, only they're dark. It looks like a mess, but it's really not quite that bad. And I'm going to be covering these with other covers as well. We're back in the lab again. Had a number of people asking for plates to fool around with the Widowmaker. If you go to hydrogentap.com, I have these plates. I have them notched and not notched. Also I have them with the holes in them and well you can figure it out. Boy it was really hot out there. And this right now what I'm doing is this is the air and cell and I'm experimenting with the width between these two plates here. In other words, I'm making a V in here, like the Widowmaker. That's controllable. Since I have on the Aaron cell, I've got this as a, a tapped screw. So I can make this screw separate these plates any way I want. Far apart on the bottom. <laughs> 